All right, in this video, we're going over how to get an estimated payment of your SBA loan. So with me, go ahead and type in, uh, type in Google SBA 7A loan calculator. You should see this, um, this uh, company GN over, that's J-A-N over, that has a calculator there. So click on that and it should be here at the top. Okay, but this is going to show you if you're uh, looking to get an SBA 7A loan, this is the calculator for it to get your estimated payment. So I want you all to play along with this as we go. But let's first look at the interest rate. So as of yesterday, uh, so today is November 8, 2024, as I record this, November 7th, yesterday, um, the, the Feds dropped the prime rate from 8% to 7.75%. So 25 uh, points down. And uh, they actually dropped it back in September to half a point. Uh, so it was at eight and a half percent. Now it's at seven point seven five percent. Just two months later, um, ever since COVID, they they kept increasing the rate. Um, I don't know. I, I forget what it was back then, but I want, I want to say it was like around five percent back then, uh, back in twenty twenty. And it's steadily gone up to uh, combat inflation. Um, but like I said, hopefully these numbers keep going down uh, as we're seeing a trend here. So hopefully over the next couple of years, it keeps going down, uh, but we'll wait and see. Um, one thing to remember about the SBA loan, the SBA 7A loan, which is what most of you all will be applying for. If you want to do, if you want to finance real estate for your, uh, for your business, like if you're buying a property, a plant, a warehouse, something like that, where you're actually going to be occupying this, occupying the space, you'll use the SBA 504 loan. This is if you want working capital. So if you're doing a project, you're buying equipment, you need inventory, some tor some sort of uh, you know big pr big purchase, or maybe you're refinancing loans too, you can use the SBA 7A working capital loan. Um, so like I said, the interest rates at 7.75 percent, but the banks got to kick in their interest; they have to make money. So typically they'll add two and a half points. So we'll make this 10.25 percent is what it is. So if you click, if you all are uh, following along with me. If you're looking at this SBA calculator, make sure to put in 10.25%. Uh, and then loan them out, plug in whatever you want. I'm just going to put in a million dollars. Okay, and then it's going to show you how much interest you're going to pay, um, what the total financing cost is. So if you look here, it's going to be typically the seven A's over uh, 10 years. It's 120 monthly payments. Um, so here's your principal. If you took out a million dollars, here's your total interest paid. Total financing costs would be a little over $1.6 million. Here's your estimated monthly payment. And then your total annual payments down there. Okay. So obviously, if you have a range of what you need, you know, if you're looking at 50000 to 100000 make sure you plug in the numbers just to give you a sense of what those estimated monthly payments would be. To, that, that way you know that it, you want to make sure you can obviously make that monthly payment. Um, of course, the banks are going to go through and make sure they'll they'll do their underwriting practices to make sure that you can make those monthly payments. But just for you as a sense of comfortability, if you're looking at a number, say you're looking at a hundred thousand, you know you got to you know that you have to make these payments every single month of thirteen thirty five. Okay. Um, <clears throat> now something else that's important to know about the SB seven A is that it is a variable rate. So uh, if you took out an SBA loan just a couple months ago, back in, let's say, August, you know, you're, you would have been paying 8% plus, uh, I'm sorry, it was 8.5% plus what the bank kicked in. So you're actually paying 11%. So I'll show you how this changes. So it, like I said, if you took this back in August, your first month payment might have been 1377.50. And then now, since it's dropped 75 basis points since then, now it's at 10.25. Um, now it's 13.35. Wait, what was it? What did I say? 13.77. And now it's 10.25. So, you know, you're saving uh, 35, 35 bucks, 40 bucks uh, a month if you took out $100,000. Again, let's, let's do a bigger number just to show the difference. So if you're at, if you're at 11%, that was thirteen seven seventy five. Now it's uh, thirteen three fifty three. So three hundred fifty bucks. So you know, definitely significant there. So hopefully we keep seeing these numbers go down. Um, I think I said this earlier in the video, but during COVID, 
that's when we started to see the the uh, rates go up in the back end of COVID, and they've they've kept going up up until September of this year is when they when we saw the first drop. And they did this to combat inflation. That's why they kept raising these rates. And now, uh, as we see the market steady, the economy steady, hopefully these numbers keep going down. And that way, um, you know, the, these uh, payments are, you know, less and less every single month what you're going to have to pay. So again, use this calculator just to give you an estimate uh, to understand what your payments are going to look like. And then uh, I'll show you in the next couple of videos of, you know, other eligibility requirements and um, how to actually go ahead and, and apply for the SBA loan.